Well, Frank made a scary appearance in Cars 1. Don't you guys think so? Yeah, he appeared right behind Lightning McQueen and Mater and scared them. Well, I don't really have any tractors, so we're just gonna use these guys as tractors in today's video. And by the way, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another video. And by the way, this was a suggestion to me by Keith Green. Thank you again, Keith Green, for the suggestion. And if anyone out there would like to make a suggestion on your own, feel free to do so. But it has to be a year or so after I've reviewed the actual item itself. Or car diecast you want to be reviewed. Anyways, enough said. Let's get on with the review of him. So, his first release, I think, was back in 2010 or 2009 in the recent Rama heading. I'm not the best when it comes to releases. Mm. Ah, oh, my throat. All I know is that, I, is that he got a release previously in Thailand. I don't know what those specks of paint are on him. Probably because the stains of the wheat or grass. I'm not too sure. Anyways, you got the driver's cab right there. Got those eyes. Those mean looking eyes. Wonder why he's covered in specks though. He's in a nice brown paint, I must say. I think those are there because of he's a bull. You can see right there, he's he's kind of like a bull. <laughs> Which I found out pretty cool in the car's world. Got this little exhaust pipe. I don't know what those are. I'm... Why am I thinking of windows for some odd reason? Like, they're windows. Like, you can see out of them. They must be like little air vents or something. He then took a long break, and I think was released again back in 2015. Then in 2016. And I believe his release when I got him was in his 2018 release. Which I find that pretty cool. So. I think he got released in 2019 in the desert car back in the old desert line previously. And then a new desert line just recently. Those eyes are blue. Like on Chase Racelet's card art for Thailand as you can see right there. Don't worry, all the reviews on them coming soon. Just gotta find the right time. Got these little lights right there, marked in silver. That's like the little blade, I do think. The tires are like, why am I thinking of snow? But they're covered in like grains and stuff, like I said previous times. And they're like little big monster, and they're like big monster truck tires too. Well, these ones are just the tiny ones. I don't know what that brown thing is on the back. I know the tractor experts would know. On the base here, you get a 1398 EAA. Made in China, but not Thailand. Yeah, I'm one of the lucky souls to have this China Frank. Got those little rivets holding it together. Got a few little chips, but I'm fine with a few little chips. Another little chip, that's fine. Got some more dirt on him. Yeah. First I didn't know what they are, but now they're dirt. I think that's what they're called. I don't know what those uh, things are that make it go, look like a ramp. <laughs> I don't even know much about this diecast, to be exact. Anyways, I think that does it for Frank's review. 
Thank you again, Keith Green, for his suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you hoped it'd be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyways, goodbye. Thanks for watching. And... Hold on, tractors. Peace.